But looking through the poly brush or polyfiber manual to see how long I needed to let this uh, set cure before I coated it over with polyurethane paint. They said that uh, at least four days to let all of the solvents flash off of here. As cool as it is, it'd probably take a little longer than that. I got to reading in there and they suggested that the coat this with a coat of white polytone if you're going to cover with a light color paint, a bright paint, and I'm coating it yellow, the same color that it was before, and of course that's a, a light color paint. The paint shop where I bought the paint, they recommended I paint it over with uh, some white primer so you reduce the number of coats or reduce the amount of paint that it takes to, to cover. I got to remember and I've got a couple of gallons of uh, white polytone that the guy that gave me this uh, poly brush and a poly spray also gave me. So I dug it out and stuck it on the paint shaker. I figure I'll go over this with at least one coat of white polytone to uh, lighten that up a little bit to make it easier to coat with the yellow. So I came over and uh, just touched it with the sandpaper and just lightly. It's just almost perfect. There was a couple little knobs here and there and a couple little frayed pieces of string but really nothing. It's just almost perfect but I just went over it real lightly with the sandpaper to make sure and I just took a damp cloth and wiped it all down to get all of the sanding dust off of it. I'll let this dry off now and I'll go over it with the acrylic clean and then I'll go ahead and squirt a coat of polytone, white polytone on there and that uh, polytone is the same stuff as the poly brush and the poly spray uses the same solvents and everything so it'll bond right into this. If I knew it was going to be sunny, I'd go ahead and put this back on those little bogey gear and wheel it outside, leave it sit out there, and then bring the uh, control surfaces in here and do those. But its forecast is for rain for the next few days. Maybe I'll put it back on the gear, the bogey gear, and take it back up to the basement for a few days while it cures and bring the control surfaces down here and uh, coat them with polytone too. They're all going to be painted with the same finish coat. Well, it's white. Now that turned out to be more of a chore than I had expected. I screwed up right away off the bat. I had my material flow way too high on that and I got it on way too thick on the belly and it, it ran like hell. I finally got it adjusted down to where it was uh, right and then everything went better then. But then the cap on the lid of the material cup on the paint cup on the gun wasn't sealing right and every once in a while a gob of paint would flop out of the cup and land on there. And those flowed out okay. Actually they flowed out pretty good once I got them going. I had to wipe them down with a rag a little bit and made a mess but wound up coming out okay. So that's one cross coat of uh, white and that covered it up pretty good. If I was going to paint it white a couple more coats on there would, would look really good but that should help a lot on letting the yellow stand out faster, cover faster. It uh, stopped in the middle of what I was doing as my fan died. I figured it crapped out completely. I went and dug out another fan. I've got a couple of them here that I've salvaged. They're just old furnace fans. Anyway, I went and dug out another one and got it out and took this one out of here. Went over and plugged it in and it came on. Oh, it was just all plugged up with uh, all of the paint and stuff like that, it just uh, wasn't getting enough airflow through it and it just overheated and shut itself down. And as soon as it cooled off for a few minutes, it came back on. So I took some time and cleaned all the uh, crud off of the fan blades. And so it's running a lot better now. I cleaned the motor out and stuff. That the vinyl, the, the poly brush and poly spray and everything all builds up pretty fast on that thing or build up pretty fast on those uh, fan so it wasn't as efficient as it had been. Boy, once I got it cleaned up and stuck it in here, it sucked the stuff out of here. So it made a big difference on it. I gotta decide now whether I'm gonna try to push that back up in the hangar for a while to let that cure and bring those controls down here. I probably should bring those down here and paint those white too to let and then let those cure out. They've cured out long enough that I can put the finish coat on them but I'd set my spray gun up with some MEK in the shop before I brought it over here and I thought I had it set up right but it didn't take too long to figure out that I had it way too much uh, uh, fluid flow. I kept adjusting it down. It took me a while to get it down but I wound up with some pretty nasty looking runs here on the belly. 
once they flowed out and once I coated it with a second coat they kind of blended in but there's still some runs in there uh, but by the time I got back uh, past the landing gear I had it pretty well adjusted out to where it was coming pretty good and it flowed out pretty nice the rest of it like I said my second coat kind of blended everything in a little bit but there's still some runs on there but this is on the belly underneath in between the landing gear and the other thing is that that belly tank bolts up against here so I'm not going to fool with that anymore all I could do is just screw it up worse if I tried what I did do is some of the runs came over the bottom here and kind of showing on this lower longeron so I came in after letting it dry overnight I, I brought a razor over and trimmed those runs off and then took some uh, 400 grit sandpaper and just smoothed them all out now I'll mix up some more polytone and go ahead and spray over that again to kind of clean that edge up that's the only thing that was wrong with it otherwise it looks really nice and it's white almost tempted to uh, leave it like this it's really pretty now but that yellow should cover over that pretty nice I clean this up now get wash it down with some acrylic clean and uh, go mix up some more polytone and and come over and uh, just do a little damage control on this now hopefully I don't screw it up worse these holes I showed before on it when I was masking this I, I put screws in all the holes that had screws in them well these holes up here for the Southco fasteners they're large and they can't get a screw in them I had some plastic plugs that I got for using for powder coating and I put those in but I only had three of them so I only had three holes filled up and I couldn't figure out I was looking all over for different plugs to put in these other two holes I finally used some of these uh, foam earplugs and they worked in there pretty good and then these uh, other three with the plastic plugs in them they kept falling out so I went ahead and got some more earplugs and, and you can roll those up pretty tight and fit them in there and then expand to fit the hole and they wound up working pretty good as a plug there I was afraid maybe the solvents in the poly spray might eat them or something but they're uh, holding up pretty good I'm pretty happy with those well, I kind of cleaned up the mess I made with the runny paint there on the belly that I didn't uh, do anything on the belly itself that's all going to be covered up and it actually didn't look that bad once I got the second coat on it I cleaned up those runs that came around that lower longeron with a razor blade and then sanded them down with 400 grit sandpaper and I looked real close all the rest of the airplane over the fuselage over I mixed up some more of the polytone and went over that uh, lower longeron I went over it a few times actually uh, it didn't get a very good coat on it the first time it was kind of showing through a little bit so I coated it pretty good I'd spray it once over it and then let it rest for a little while until it firmed up and go over it again and let it build up there was a few places there where it was a little bit thinner than in other places and and uh, kind of showed through gray a little bit and some stripes not bad but since I had the extra polytone mixed up I went ahead and sprayed it on it hadn't intended on moving the the airframe the fuselage I was going to leave it in here and let it cure up and go ahead and do the finished coat on it down here and then bring the controls down and do them down here but after I got the idea to put the polytone on there the white polytone on there I kind of changed my mind I decided I'd go ahead and take that up to the basement and let it cure out up there and bring those control surfaces down here and paint them with the polytone too and then they'll I'll let them cure down here and they won't need to cure as long because that uh, underlayment there the poly brush and the poly spray has already been on there curing for a week so it shouldn't take as long for the uh, one coat of polytone over the top of that to set up so anyway I'll go ahead and do that I, I went ahead and put the bogey wheels back on here and took the rotisserie off and we can wheel this up and put it back in the basement and bring those controls down here anyway there it is looks pretty good just the way it is I did just put numbers on it and go fly it I guess Well, here's the fuselage, home sweet home, right back where it's been for the last three years. That's not going to be the last time it's here because we'll take it down and put the finish coat on it and bring it back up here and 
assemble all the pieces in it that we've been building for the last three years. But it's up here out of the way now and we'll let that polytone and stuff cure on there for a while. And I'll go ahead and take those controls down there to the paint booth and squirt some polytone on them and then bring them back up here to let them cure out too. I think I'm just going to do like three of those at a time. That way I've got more room to work around them and don't have to squeeze between them and stuff like I did before. 